Nigeria's expansive and dynamic economy ranks third in Africa for the number of affluent individuals. Aliko Dangote is no doubt the undisputed richest man in all of Africa, and it's no surprise that he's Nigerian. Dangote is worth billions of dollars, and despite his huge investments in petroleum products, sugar, and cement, his net worth keeps increasing. In general, Nigeria is a hub for families with assets and investments worth billions of dollars. There are a lot of billionaire families in Nigeria. The power and influence of some the families we'll see in this video extend across various sectors, with their fortunes often tracing back to patriarchs who laid the foundations in Nigeria's early years. If this is your first time on the channel, leave a like and subscribe. Now let's explore the richest families in Nigeria and how they got their net worth. The Indimi family, Mohamed Indimi, born on August 12, 1947, into the Alhaji Karundu family, began his career in his father's hides and skins trading business before venturing into oil and gas. In 1990, he founded Oriental Energy Resources, OER, focusing on offshore oil exploration and production. Indimi is also a noted philanthropist, having awarded over 470 scholarships in Aqua I Bomb State and made significant donations to educational institutions like the University of Uyo. His net worth was estimated at $500 million by Forbes, although it declined due to falling oil prices and the floating of the Naira. The Sonomi family ego, Charles Sonomi, is a Nigerian billionaire, businessman, geologist, public speaker, and philanthropist with diverse business interests spanning oil, power, logistics, telecommunications, the maritime industry, aviation, and real estate. Sonomi earned a bachelor's degree in geology and mining from the University of Jos, Plateau State, located in Nigeria's Middle Belt. In 2004, he founded Talaveras Group, a Nigerian energy trading company. A year later, in June 2013, the company sold a 65% stake in one of its Ivorian offshore upstream projects to Lukoil, a Russian firm, for an undisclosed sum. Additionally, in 2013, Sanomi was nominated by Nigeria's Ministry of Industry, Trade, and Investment for a position on the Nigeria South Africa Business Council. The Benedict family Benedict Peters is a pan-African billionaire and prominent businessman with substantial investments in the oil, gas, and mining sectors. He is the founder and CEO of Iteo, Africa's largest indigenous oil producer, and Bravura Holdings, a vertically integrated mining company with assets in platinum, lithium, steel, copper, and gold across various African countries, including Ghana, Democratic Republic of Congo, Zambia, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Mozambique, Cote d'Ivoire, Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau, Libya, Tanzania, and South Africa. Ventures Africa estimated his net worth at $2.7 billion in November 2014, with more recent estimates ranging between $3 and $5 billion. Peters is a devout Christian and a significant supporter of the gospel. He was born in Nigeria to a bank manager father and a homemaker mother. He graduated with honors from the University of Benin, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Geography and Regional Planning, specializing in geomorphology. The Ibeto family, Cletus Matabugwu Ibeto, born on November 6, 1952, is a prominent Nigerian businessman hailing from Newi, a city renowned for its entrepreneurial spirit. He is the head of the Ibeto Group, the largest business enterprise originating from Newi. The city experienced significant growth in the early 1980s, even as Nigeria faced economic challenges due to the oil crash and a controversial import licensing system. During this period, the Ibito Group, under Cletus Ibito's leadership, emerged as a key player in both regional and national trade, eventually expanding into manufacturing. Ibito began his career as a spare parts importer after apprenticing in the motor parts business, a common path for many Eastern Nigerian traders. In March 1988, he transitioned from direct importation to manufacturing, completing a factory in Nui to produce lead-acid automotive batteries and plastic motor accessories. Expanding his business interests, Cletus Ibato established Ibato Petrochemical Industries Latat on October 2, 1996. The company specializes in blending oil lubricants and producing various petroleum products for both local and international markets. 
It also owns one of Nigeria's largest liquid storage facilities for petroleum products, with a capacity of over 60,000 metric tons, located at Apapa Wharf and the Ibru Port Complex in Lagos. In recognition of his significant contributions to Nigeria's manufacturing sector, Ibedo was awarded the National Honor of Officer of the Order of the Niger, Oon, in 2008. The Danjuma Family Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma is a prominent Nigerian figure known for his roles as a retired lieutenant general, influential politician, and successful businessman. Born on December 9, 1938, in Takum, Taraba State, formerly Gongola, Nigeria, Danjuma grew up in a farming community where his father, Kuru Danjuma, was a respected farmer and trader. Danjuma's military career was distinguished. He served as Chief of Army Staff from July 1975 to October 1978 and later as Minister of Defense under President Olusegun Obasanjo. His contributions to Nigeria's military and political landscape were significant during a period of transformation for the country. In addition to his military career, Danjuma made substantial strides in business. In 1979, he founded Nigeria American Line, which initially operated a ship named Hanatu, trading between Lagos and Brazil. NAL expanded its operations and secured contracts with various Nigerian companies and government agencies, benefiting from Nigeria's increased involvement in international trade. By 2009, NAL Comet, the expanded entity, employed around 250 staff members, including expatriates, and had established branch offices in key Nigerian ports. Danjuma's philanthropic efforts are channeled through the T.Y. Danjuma Foundation, established in December 2008. The foundation's mission is to alleviate poverty and improve living conditions in Nigeria. The foundation focuses on providing basic amenities, education, and free medical care, having already granted 500,000 U.S. dollars to NGOs working in the region. Overall, Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma's impact spans military service, business achievements, and humanitarian efforts, reflecting his significant influence on Nigeria's development and prosperity. The Alakija family, born on July 15, 1951, Folorunsho Alakija is a renowned Nigerian businesswoman and philanthropist. She is currently the group managing director of the Rose of Sharon Group and serves as the executive vice chairman of FAMFA Oil Limited. Alakija began her career in 1974, working as an executive secretary at Sijuwadi Enterprises in Lagos, Nigeria. She then moved to the former First National Bank of Chicago, where she served as the executive secretary to the managing director. Her career progressed as she became the head of the corporate affairs department at the International Merchant Bank of Nigeria and later transitioned to the Treasury Department. Pursuing a passion for fashion, Alakija studied fashion design at the American College in London and the Central School of Fashion. She founded a fashion label called Supreme Stitches, which she later renamed the Rose of Sharon House of Fashion in 1996. Alakija played a significant role in the Nigerian fashion industry as the president and lifelong trustee of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Dan. In addition to her business endeavors, Alakia is a dedicated philanthropist. Her philanthropic contributions also include donating a skills acquisition center to Yaba College of Technology, Yabatech, in Lagos. The Rabiu family Abdul Samad Ishaku Rabiu, a prominent Nigerian entrepreneur, was born and raised in Kano, Nigeria. He attended Capital University in Columbus, Ohio, before returning to Nigeria at the age of 24 to manage the family business. In 1988, Rabiu founded BUA International Limited, initially focusing on commodity trading, including the importation of rice, edible oil, flour, iron, and steel. His company experienced significant growth after securing a contract with the government-owned Delta Steel Company in 1990 to supply raw materials in exchange for finished products. In addition to producing billets, importing iron ore, and building several rolling mills around Nigeria, Rabiu extended BUA's operations into the steel industry. He further diversified by acquiring Nigerian Oil Mills Limited, the largest edible oil processing company in Nigeria, and establishing two flour milling plants in Lagos and Kano in 2005. 
Rabiu made a significant impact on the Nigerian sugar industry by commissioning the second largest sugar refinery in sub-Saharan Africa in 2008, breaking an eight-year monopoly. In 2009, he acquired a controlling stake in a publicly listed cement company in northern Nigeria and went on to construct a $900 million cement plant in Edo State. Known for his philanthropy, Abdul Samad Ishiku Rabiu has made substantial contributions to various charitable causes through the BUA Foundation. His notable contributions include constructing a pediatric ward at Aminu Kano Teaching Hospital and establishing the Center for Islamic Studies at Bayero University Kano. The Salami family chief Salami Agbaje, born in 1880, was a prominent Nigerian entrepreneur and one of the leading businessmen during the colonial era. As Ibadan's wealthiest citizen of his time, Agbaje skillfully navigated the emerging Western economy, using his wealth to pioneer new ventures in the city. Agbaje's first major commercial success came as a timber contractor. During the colonial period, the economy relied heavily on importing manufactured goods and exporting agricultural commodities and raw materials. The major players in this economy were largely expatriates, as indigenous Africans had limited access to credit. However, Agbaje capitalized on the opportunities presented by the new economy, supplying much of the timber needed for the construction of the Lagos Abadan Railway in 1871. This venture became the foundation for his subsequent business successes. Leveraging his profits from the timber business, Agbaje ventured into produce buying in the Yoruba hinterland. He established himself as a merchant, bridging the gap between local farmers and expatriate firms, buying goods from the farmers and selling them for export. His ability to adapt and seize opportunities made him a key figure in Nigeria's economic landscape during the colonial era. The Alumalu family, Anthony Onyemechi Alumalu, CFR, born on March 22, 1963, is a Nigerian economist, banker, and philanthropist. He is the chairman of Ayers Holdings, Transcorp, and United Bank for Africa, UBA, and the founder of the Tony Elumelu Foundation. In 2020, he was named one of Time's 100 Most Influential People in the World. Elumelu began his career in 1985 as a Corps member at Union Bank during his National Youth Service Corps. He later worked as a salesman before joining Allstate's Trust Bank. In 2005, after United Bank for Africa, UBA, acquired Allstate's Trust Bank, Elumelu played a significant role in transforming UBA into a leading Pan-African bank. In 2015, Elumelu made a groundbreaking commitment of $100 million to create 10,000 entrepreneurs across Africa through the Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. This Pan-African initiative aims to empower African entrepreneurs through a multi-year program of training, funding, and mentoring. The Ovia family, Jim James, Ovia CFRCON, born on November 4, 1951, is a Nigerian businessman and author. He is the founder of Zenith Bank, established in 1990, which has grown to become Nigeria's most profitable bank. In 2018, Ovia published his memoir, Africa Rise and Shine, which he describes as an entrepreneurial manual. The book details his early life, business career, and the development of Zenith Bank and other related ventures. Ovia has been instrumental in the growth of Nigeria's financial sector. In 2010, he assumed the chairmanship of Zenith Bank, and his leadership has been recognized with numerous national honors. In addition, he founded VisaPhone Communications Limited and is the chairman of the National Information Technology Advisory Council, NITAC, and the Nigerian Software Development Initiative, NSDI. Additionally, Ovia is a member of the Honorary International Investor Council and the Digital Bridge Institute, DBI. He also chairs Cyberspace Network Limited, the Adeleki family. The Adeleki family is a prominent household name in Nigeria, particularly in the entertainment sector. The family's patriarch, Adedeji Adeleki, born on March 6, 1957, is a business magnate and the president of Adeleki University. His ventures, particularly in the oil and gas sector, as well as his role as CEO of Pacific Holdings Limited, have firmly established the family's wealth. The Adeleki family is also well known for its association with the famous musician Davido, David Adeleke, who has gained international recognition in the music industry. Adedeji Adeleke was born in Enugu, Nigeria. 
and hails from a prominent family in Osun State. His educational journey began at Ansaruddin Primary School and continued at Seventh-day Adventist Grammar School. He later pursued higher education in the United States, earning a degree in finance from Western Kentucky University. In 2010, Adelecki completed his studies at the University of Phoenix, where he obtained a Ph.D. in business administration. Adelecki also holds an MBA and a Ph.D. in international business from Pacific Columbia University. In December 1983, Adelecki founded Pacific Holdings Limited, initially established as Pacific Drilling Company Limited. The company specializes in geographical surveys, drilling boreholes, and water treatment. Over time, it was rebranded to Pacific Holdings Limited, expanding its operations to include agriculture, freight services, energy, and power generation. The company has expanded into a prominent participant in the Nigerian business scene under Adelecki's direction. Adelecki's business success and philanthropic efforts have earned him global recognition. He is listed among Nigeria's billionaires and has received numerous awards for his contributions to business and society. His reputation as a successful businessman and philanthropist has attracted investors and partners, further enhancing his business ventures and overall net worth. The Adenuga family. Adenuga's entrepreneurial journey began early. He made his first million at the age of 26 in 1979 by selling lace and distributing soft drinks. In 1990, he received a drilling license, and by 1991, his company, Consolidated Oil, struck oil in the shallow waters of southwestern Ondo State, making it the first indigenous oil company to achieve commercial oil production in Nigeria. In 1999, Adenuga was issued a conditional GSM license, which was later revoked. However, he secured a second license when the government held another auction in 2003. Adenuga's business acumen has earned him numerous accolades, including being named African Entrepreneur of the Year at the first African Telecoms Awards, ATA, in August 2007. In May 2015, he made headlines with a $600 million takeover bid to purchase the Ivorian mobile telecom operator Comium Cote d'Ivoire. The Otodola family, born in Nigeria in 1962, Olufemi Peter Otodola, Khan, is a prominent Nigerian businessman with extensive investments across various sectors including oil and gas, power and energy, and banking and finance. He is the son of Sir Michael Otodola, a Yoruba political figure and former governor of Lagos State, and Lady Doja Odadola. Odadola capitalized on the economic reforms during the presidency of Olusegun Obasanjo between 1999 and 2007, which shifted Nigeria from a command economy to a private sector-driven economy through liberalization, commercialization, and privatization. This transformation enabled Odadola to emerge as a significant player in the energy sector. In the early 2000s, following the deregulation of Nigeria's petroleum downstream sector, Odadola's company, Zenin Petroleum and Gas Limited, became a leading player in petroleum product marketing and distribution. Zenin grew to be the largest distributor of diesel in Nigeria, the country's most widely used industrial energy product. The Igbenedion family chief, Gabriel Osawaru Igbenedion, born September 11, 1934, is a Nigerian businessman, philanthropist, and the founder of Igbenedion University, Nigeria's first private university, located in Okada Town, Edo State. He is well known for his contributions to education, business, and philanthropy in Nigeria. As a traditional aristocrat from Okada, he holds the chieftaincy title of Esama of the Benin Kingdom. The title Esama, meaning son of the people, comes with responsibilities to assist the poor through medical, financial, and entrepreneurial support. Although he was suspended from palace activities in 2008, a palace press release on June 13, 2012, confirmed that his suspension had been lifted, affirming his continued role as the Asama of Benin Kingdom. Chief Igbenidion's business empire includes an international property portfolio, a private TV and radio station, independent radio 92.3 FM and independent television, a private bank, and an oil refinery. His holdings also encompass diamond, gold, and marble mines across Africa, numerous hotels, and previously, the now-defunct Okada Air, which operated over 40 aircraft. Additionally, 
He has built several churches, including a Grand Catholic Cathedral and established private hospitals across Nigeria. The Dangote family born on April 10, 1957, Aliko Dangote is a prominent Nigerian businessman and industrialist renowned for founding, chairing, and leading the Dangote Group, the largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa. As of May 2024, the Bloomberg Billionaires Index estimates his net worth at $15.3 billion, making him Africa's richest person, the world's richest black individual, and the 132nd richest person globally. In order to grow the company, Dangote relocated to Lagos in 1977, when the Dangote Group was founded as a small trading company. Dangote began trading commodities, including as rice, sugar, and cement, using a 500,000 naira loan from his uncle. His proposal to operate the staff bus fleet of the Central Bank of Nigeria was accepted in the 1990s. He had previously suggested the idea to them. The Dangote Group, once a trade concern, has grown into Nigeria's largest industrial conglomerate under Dangote's direction. It currently conducts business abroad and has stakes in Togo, Benin, Ghana, and Zambia. Major subsidiaries of the group include Dangote Flour, Dangote Cement, and Dangote Sugar Refinery. Dangote achieved billionaire status in Nigeria in 2007. By 2013, he had reportedly increased his personal wealth by $9.2 billion, ranking him as the 30th richest person globally and the richest in Africa at that time. Dangote was a client of HSBC and possessed assets in a tax haven in the British Virgin Islands, according to information leaked by the bank in 2015. With an estimated net worth of $13.9 billion as of April 2024, Dangote continues to be the richest individual in Africa. This brings us to the end of our video. Which one of these billionaires is your favorite? Do you think we left out your picks? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications in order not to miss out on any of our future uploads.